Hello everyone. So you have a new Macintosh or you just upgraded to macOS 14 and you're not happy with the defaults or you want to turn on some of the new hidden features that are in macOS. Well, we're going to go through that today. First off, we're going to customize the finder window. We'll get into some of the finder settings. We're also going to adjust the finder menu bar icons. We'll customize the dock, make that more usable to your preference. And we'll also deal with notifications and how to mute some of those and change some of those settings. So let's first get started with the finder window. When you open the finder window by clicking here on the little finder icon, come here to this gray area and we need to right click or do a control click if you have a laptop that will bring up this hidden menu. And we're going to customize the toolbar and make it a little more user friendly. First thing I like to do is change it from icon only to icon and text. And then I'm going to take the icons off that I don't use. And I'm going to add icons that I do use. So I like to put the delete key up there. I like quick looks so that I can quickly look at a file without having to completely open it up. I also like get info so I can see how big a file is. Okay, the next thing I like to do is go to the view menu. I really like to show the status bar, so I'm going to click on show status bar. It gives me some more information. I get a slider window that I can adjust the size. And there are other things that you can do here on the view menu to your finder window. Now you can go to the finder settings. In here, you can change what shows when you open the finder window. I, I personally like to put my home folder so that when I click on the finder icon, my home folder shows up. The next thing I like to do is I just like to show the hard drive icon that will show it over here in the upper right corner. And I like to adjust the sidebar. This sidebar is very customizable. So when I'm over here, I check the box to turn on my home folder and I don't use the cloud so I uncheck the cloud and I turn off Bonjour computers so they don't show up as well in my work environment. Now on the sidebar here I like to drag mine into alphabetical order so you can do that if you would like and you can rearrange these the way you want. Moving on we're going to customize these icons up here on the menu bar. Now by default it shows the keyboard and I don't need that because I only stay in one language so I click on this open keyboard settings and come down here in the settings and I click on edit. And I say show input on the menu bar I turn that off so that will disable that. Okay one thing I miss from older macOS systems is the volume. I like to change the volume. So how do I do that? Well, over here in settings, I find the control center. I come here to sound and I select always show in the menu bar. So now I have this volume. Since I have headphones plugged in, it shows me the headphones, but I could change it to my speakers and then I can change the sound any way I want, change the output. I love having that on the menu bar. Some other things that might be interesting if you do a lot of screen mirroring is show your screen mirroring here on the menu bar so you can turn things on and off as you'd like. Uh, another thing I like to have is I like the percentage to show with the battery icon. If you have a laptop that works great and you can see the percentage. Okay here's a little hidden feature I like. Here while we're in the control center I like to turn on the accessibility shortcuts for the control center. I turn that on. Now what that does is over here in the control center I have this new icon here. When I click on it, I can turn on my zooming. So then, when I need to zoom in to show someone something, I can hold down Option Command Plus to zoom in and Option Command Minus to zoom back out. And that is very useful when doing some sort of presentation. So I'll turn that off. There's many other things that you can turn on and off in the control center. 
Let me show you a few tips on modifying the dock. So if, if you don't want these icons in here and you don't use them very often, you can remove them. One way to do it is to drag them up and wait for about a half a second. It'll say remove and you can let go. You can also right click, say option, remove from the dock. And you can do that for the unused items that you don't like. You can easily add items to the dock. So if you'd like to add Google Chrome to the dock, find Google Chrome in your apps folder, grab it, drag it down, wait for it to make a space, let go, and now you've added what you want to the dock. So that can be very helpful. You also may not like the size of the dock, so you can click with your mouse right on the line here and then click and hold and drag up or down and that makes the dock change to the size that you would like it. You can also right click or do a control click here, position it to the side of your screen or back to the bottom, whatever you prefer. The next thing we want to adjust is scrolling. So if this scrolling seems backwards and you want to change the way your mouse scrolls, let's go into settings and let's go down to mouse. Now, if you have a laptop and you do not have a mouse plugged in, this will not show. So plug in a mouse, come here, and you can change this to natural direction. And now your scrolling will go the other direction or turn that off. The same is true with trackpad. Trackpad has tracking in the natural direction or not. So if you want it the same as you scroll with your phone, when you scroll on your trackpad, you turn that on and then that will be the same. So experiment with that. Look at all the other adjustments you can do with your mouse and your trackpad and all the custom settings that you can do there. Okay. Next off, we're going to talk about the notifications. So you're doing a demonstration, a presentation, or using your computer or a recording, and you don't want interruptions. So you have to adjust what happens here in the notification center. Well, there is this focus that you can turn on, do not disturb for one hour or until tomorrow morning. But you can also go into the focus settings and you could add a focus. For example, you don't want to be disrupted during your work time, just before work and after work. So you'll come in here, you'll create one called work, and then you add a schedule to that, and we're going to add some time on the schedule, and I'm gonna say on weekdays from 9 a.m. and let's end it so that you can not be disrupted and you're done with your majority of your work by 3 p.m. Now you'll only get notifications before 9 a.m. and after 3 p.m. on weekdays. Now you have the schedule. So now in the control center, when you have focus, you can switch to work and now you're on work. Or you can change it to do not disturb however you like. So that is one way to mute notifications during your work time to keep things clean and uninterrupted. Finally, there are some tips. If you click on the little spotlight search bar and then type tips, and then open the tips, Apple has provided several other tips that you can use to get to know your Mac and help it be the best tool possible. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day.